Well, first and foremost, I'd take him. Um, but when we're talking about can England afford to leave him out, I mean, yeah, they can. Uh, they've got top, top players in, in his position. Is he maybe in a, a better vein of form than some of the ones at the moment in his position? Yeah, maybe. Has he performed as well as them over the last two or three years for the club and England? I'm not so sure. Um, is he one I'd take? I absolutely would. Um, but I'm not sure he'd, he'd still get in my starting England team. Um, as well as he's doing for Leicester, and I'm a, I'm a huge fan of him. I like him, I like his personality. I think he's got um, character where I think he's got enough confidence that he would, he'd want to perform on the big stage. But you then compare him to the players that he's up against in his, in his position, and he's, he's certainly up against it. There's a reason why he hasn't been in England squads before, and it's not because he's been way off the level at all. It's just that the people in his position are real high calibre players. Yeah. It, it, is his perhaps worries compounded by the fact that England's defensive frailties or perceived frailties mean Gareth might well go with a three and therefore perhaps higher up the pitch that's one place less? Yeah, um, and, I, and I get your point and you, you, you would also say if, if you're talking about um, defending from the front whether no matter the formation that you're playing is is there players that are used to playing a little bit more um high pressing high intensity further up the pitch uh, and a bit more successful at club level off the ball maybe um but again I, for me i would i would always take Jay, a james madison i think you have to have not only people that would not start games and maybe can affect it but again we're talking about trent if you need to tweak formations and you, you want to bring him on because he, you want to go to a back four and uh, you've got someone who can open up defences like him. you then got to look at, you could find someone like Jack Grealish on the bench. Does that mean that you could bring on a, a Jack and a, and a James Madison at the same time to offer a, a more of an attacking threat? I think if you want to be successful at, at international tournaments, you have to have at least four or five players that can affect the game from an attacking aspect. Um, on the bench and, and that's obviously one of the reasons why Trent and Madison would be shooing for my squad.